Welcome to the Blooming Glen Mennonite Church online Election Day communion service. We would like to share God's word with you in the form of scripture, prayer, invocation, and communion. We invite you to join in this communion service by either preparing bread and drink or simply engaging in thought and prayer as to the symbolic celebration of communion. Thank you for joining us. From 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 through 3. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God, our Savior. We gather today in this place, in the presence of God, to remember that our identity is not rooted in political affiliations, but in our covenant with God who created us in God's own image that we are one through Jesus Christ and members of his body, and that the Holy Spirit binds us together into one family. Welcome. Let's pray. If this election season has left you feeling hopeless and heartsick, hear God's word of peace, hope, and unity. If you feel like your voice is lost in the public square, Remember the covenant God has made with you to never leave you. If political views and rhetoric have damaged your relationships, come to the table where all are forgiven and welcomed. If the brokenness of the world seems beyond repair, pray that God's kingdom come, God's will be done, here and now. Would you please join me in prayer? God of all peoples and nations, we have gathered in this place at your invitation to pray for our country, to pray for each other, to pray for ourselves. We come from varied backgrounds and political beliefs that often put us at odds with our friends, our family, and our neighbors. In this time of prayer, inspire us through your spirit to a renewed sense of unity in Christ. Move us beyond the things that would divide to a deep awareness of all that we share through Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Apostle Paul writes to the Christian church established in the city of Corinth. As recorded in his first letter, chapter 11, he addresses his concern for disagreements or factions and misunderstandings that were rising in the faith community, notably in their observance of the Passover meal, the Lord's Supper, communion. Rather than push one's own interests to the fore, we are to learn of Jesus, Paul writes, who on the night he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup, also saying, this is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So my friends, here is the bread that is broken for you. Take it and eat, take it and eat. Here is the bread that is broken for you. If you eat, you will hunger no more. Here is the cup that I offer to you. Take it and drink, take it and drink. Here is the cup that I offer to you. Come receive the forgiveness of sins. And now, good people, Put the peace of Christ into each other's hearts and hands with loving expectation. Be gentle with your words and in your ways. Give peace a chance and share it like a treasure. This is the task I am giving to you. Be full of love, be full of love. This is the task that I'm giving to you. Love each other as I have loved. Amen. May it be so.